The eastern Mediterranean country of Cyprus hosted leaders of Israel and Greece for a trilateral summit. Cooperation on gas exploration, transportation dominated the agenda. As the summit concluded, the Greek Prime Minister announced that India may be invited in the next trilateral. And with this, New Delhi is beginning to make concrete inroads into the strategic eastern Mediterranean region. The Greek Prime Minister expressed deep and specific interest in the field of gas export cooperation with New Delhi. Reports say that India earlier expressed interest in being part of the burgeoning regional cooperation. But the question is, why? What's driving these developments? The Eastern Mediterranean Sea has yielded major gas discoveries in the past decade. Major discoveries were made mostly of Israel and Egypt. Exploration projects are still underway in Cyprus's exclusive economic zone. But the region is riddled with territorial disputes. Just a passing glance reveals that the elephant in the room is Turkey. But there are a lot of other underlying factors here. Europe's gas supplies have been skewed by Russia's war in Ukraine. It is thus looking for other avenues for supply. There enters the Eastern Mediterranean gas pipeline. India can help expedite the work on the proposed pipeline through its technical know-how and expertise in the field. Beyond transportation, India can also aid the gas exploration efforts. The Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi recently visited Greece. Cooperation on energy transportation and exploration dominated the talks as he met with his Greek counterpart. India has also invested heavily in the region, you see, including private investments in Malta, Cyprus and Greece. With Prime Minister Modi hosting the G20 leaders in New Delhi this week, the issue is likely to come up when he meets President of Turkey, Recep Tayyip Erdogan, on the sidelines of the summit. Now, our correspondent Jody Cohen has sent us a report from Renana. The three leaders of Israel, Greece and Cyprus all referred to the possibility of expanding cooperation to include other countries, with all three specifically referring to India. Greek Prime Minister Mitsotakis also suggested that India could be invited to join in the next summit, which he said would take place in Israel next year. According to some media reports, the involvement of India came at the suggestion of Prime Minister Modi. And this expanded cooperation now has the potential to create a corridor for infrastructure such as fibre optic, natural gas, electricity and hydrogen from India through the Arabian Peninsula to the Eastern Mediterranean and onto Europe with implications for energy diversification, for energy supply, for trade, cooperation and potentially expanding the Abraham Accords. This is Jodie Cohen for We On, World is One.